Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome. If you're new here, my name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. And I have a massive, massive haul for you. I went to Sam's Club and my local Kroger store. It was my stock up at Sam's. I haven't been in quite a few months, so I have a massive haul for you. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description, description box, you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized, customized to you macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and my free Facebook group, come join us. We would love to have you are all down in that description box. So let me flip you around and let's jump into this week's massive grocery haul. So the first part of my massive grocery haul is from Sam's Club. So I made a Sam's Club run while I was in Tucson for Lola's Chemo. I haven't been to Sam's Club in months. So we stocked up lots of household things, lots of food. So let me show you what I picked up. I got a three pack of Classico marinara sauce. We've been doing a lot of spaghetti, lasagna, pasta dishes in general. It was only $10 for three huge jars. These are the best pickles ever. They're really, really good, these little mini dill pickles. This jar is $4 and they're just so crunchy and yummy. So I picked up another jar. We still have a few left in the fridge. I also really like these razors. These are from Bic Soleil Smooth Color Razors. 16 of them for about $15. I can use them quite a few times, even though they're disposable. And I just really like these. So I picked those up. I also got this massive pack of bacon. This is three pounds of Hormel Black Label Thick Cut Bacon. We've also been doing a lot of BLT. So I thought I could just throw this in the freezer and that'll just keep the bacon fresh. I grabbed some quart size freezer bags. These were on sale. I have all the other sizes. I was just out of the quart. And then I also picked up some pads for myself. These are my favorite. And everything I picked up for the most part was on sale. I also got some dried mangoes. I like having dried mangoes as a snack. If I can't have fruit, if I'm on the go or something portable, dried mangoes come in really handy. And this whole bag was $7.98. And then one thing I always buy at Sam's Club is my Canadian bacon. We just freeze this and it is so affordable. You get two huge packs for about $11. Such a great source of protein. You can have three pieces for 60 calories. So really low calorie, really high protein, low fat. I also grabbed some more paper plates. These were on coupon or on sale and they're much better priced than picking them up at the local grocery store. I also needed some more dishwasher detergent. We are almost out. We're actually out of a lot of household things. So like I said, I picked up quite a few from Sam's. And then I also got some more minced garlic. I am just about out. This was five so that is a crazy, crazy good deal. And then I'm completely out of tuna fish and I definitely need to eat more. It's so low calorie, so high protein. So I picked up a big pack and that way I can have tuna salad, tuna salad wraps. I can do lettuce wraps, put it on salad. It's just a really good deal. And then I got some Colby Jack cheese for Troy and myself. The cheese and the lunch meat are really great prices at Sam's. And I actually did pick up some uncured Black Forest ham. This was like $7 for this whole pack. It's almost two pounds, so that's really, really good. Again, meat and cheese, excellent price. I also picked up the Members Mark Wavy Potato Chips. I ate some of these actually for lunch while I waited for Lola with some chicken salad. I'll show you the chicken salad that I grabbed. This whole bag was like $3, so killer deal. I also did a restock of my Listerine mouthwash. I go through a lot of, a lot of mouthwash because I actually put this in my water flosser. If you haven't done that, it's a literal game changer. It feels like you went to the dentist. Your teeth are so nice and clean. So I put a little bit of water and then some mouthwash in my water pick and floss my teeth every night love it so I actually do go through quite a bit of mouthwash and this was also on sale for $11 of course bath tissue and paper towels lucky for me both of these were on sale Troy it's again a really easy dinner I can do pasta alfredo chicken for him we can use the real good chicken nuggets chicken breast so I picked that up the entire pack was about eight dollars and then this is the chicken salad that I got it's just a rotisserie chicken salad it was about ten dollars for this, I ate just a little bit of the salad and then again, some of the wavy chips. I just needed a vessel to dip into the chicken salad, so that's what I picked the chips up for. I also grabbed Troy's bread. This is $5 for two loaves. I literally just paid $4 for one loaf last week at Fry's. So I always grab it when I'm at Sam's or Costco. Again, we just throw the extra loaf in the freezer. This I had at my boot camp girls pool party. Oh my gosh, it is so good. This is the strawberry lemonade salad kit. 
It is so good. It was $3.72 and it's only 60 calories for two cups. It is so low calorie and it is so good. It's this perfect sweet and tangy. You could throw chicken in here. Honestly, I should have picked up more than one for that price, but I'm so excited to have it. I think I'm going to do this for lunch. Maybe I'll save it for a what I eat in a day and we can have it together, try it out. And then I grabbed a huge watermelon for Troy. He's still definitely on his watermelon game. I got some bananas for myself, some avocados. This whole bag was less than $5. Strawberries were $4.75 for a big two pound container. And blueberries were also about $4.75 for the big container. Really good deal on produce. Actually, they had some really great sales going on right now. I also picked up a case of water and Gatorade Zero, the 24 packs are $15. That's an amazing deal. So I picked up two, two 24 packs. Those are all out in the garage. Let's go ahead and jump into the rest of the grocery haul. So here is the rest of my grocery haul for the week. This is from my local fry store, which is a Kroger store. What you don't see is four 12 packs of Diet Coke. They're buy two, get two free right now. So that makes them $5 a 12 packs. It's a pretty good deal. So I picked up Diet Coke for Troy. He wants to have Philly cheesesteaks this week. So he asked for me to grab some hoagie rolls. So I grabbed these from the bakery. They're actually cheaper than buying the prepackaged hoagie rolls. I need a can of corn for my meal prep. And then two good yogurts are on coupon right now. If you buy six, they're a dollar a piece. So that was a killer deal. So I did pick up quite a few. I grabbed two blueberries, a strawberry, a lemon, and a couple of vanilla. So six yogurts, $6. Great deal, actually cheaper than when I was at Sam's Club. Also, Troy asked for a restock on his razors. He just uses these little cheapy twin blade razors. I got some provolone cheese. This is for the Philly cheesesteaks. I picked this up only because it was reduced to 76 cents. This is the Knutson Cottage Cheese Double in Peach. I'm gonna eat this today as part of my lunch and I thought that was a really good deal, so I grabbed it. And then I've been craving veggies and dip, cucumbers, bell peppers. So I picked up the Panera Ranch. This is such a good dip. And this one was a dollar, had a dollar off coupon on it. So it was cheaper than the Lighthouse. And I like them both equally. They're really good dip options. I did pick up two gallons of 1% milk for Troy for the week. And then some cottage cheese. I need this for my breakfast meal prep. And then, you know, I just eat cottage cheese pretty much daily. It's just a really, really good source of protein, low calorie, high protein. And then for the Philly cheesesteaks, I actually got myself the thin sliced beef because it's 93% lean and I thought that this would be better for me and then for Troy I got him a huge pack of shaved beef steak so this is just a fattier cut more points more calories more fat equal amounts of protein this one actually has it has 23 grams of protein per serving so I'm going to cook up all of it and whatever's left over we can do for leftover Philly cheesesteaks I grabbed some cookies in the bakery section I got some sugar cookies and then these look really good like a little M&M cookie moment. And then I got some Caprese chicken sausages from Gilbert's. I need this for my meal prep. And then tons and tons of produce. So first up is mini cucumbers. Again, I want to have the cucumbers with the Panera ranch dip. I also got some baby spring mix. This is for my meal prep, some kale. I actually wanted the baby kale that comes in the little package and they didn't have any. So I just got the really hard kale. I don't really love this kale, but it's for a recipe. I think it'll be fine. It actually calls for this kale. I just, like I said, prefer the baby kale. Some fresh basil, some green onions, tomatoes, onions, a couple of pears, mushrooms for the Philly cheesesteak, and then lots of bell peppers, again, for the Philly cheesesteak. So that is everything that I picked up from Fry. So let's jump into what's for dinners and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So here's what's on my menu for the week. Like I said, we're making a Philly cheesesteak Sammy's, and then I am making a summer harvest cheddar quesadilla. And you guys will actually see that recipe in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. And then for my meal prep this week, I'm making cottage cheese egg muffins. I'm so excited for these. And then for my lunch, I'm actually doing a pear salad with walnuts, avocado, and chicken. So bright, so summery. And then for dessert, I'm making protein banana bread. I'm also super excited for 
for that. So you'll see all three of these recipes in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing the massive haul from both Sam's Club and my local Fry store. New food finds, great deals, lots of good things. So if you, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. Down in the description box, again, I will list nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come join our free Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.